Hey everybody, welcome to Sweetwater's uh, first virtual gear fest. I uh, hope you're having fun so far. Um, I'm going to show you a couple of things today, uh, different plugins, different uh, examples. Uh, I love doing this, and I'm going to show you, try to show you about 12 things that I like and I use. And I'm, I tried to select some things that were more things I've been using in the last few months that, that might not have gotten on your radar, but things that I find very, very usable. The 12 things I'm going to show you I use on probably the, uh, probably at least 60% of the time on, on, on various, various, various mixes. So uh, I got the permission from an artist I work with. His name is uh, Phantom, and the song is called Nunu. I, I believe that a video is coming out soon, possibly on YouTube, but check N-U-N-U -N -U and then F-A-N-T-E-M. Now, I want to show you this plugin called Spiff. Um, now, what I'm going to do during this video is anytime you see a plugin on the screen, that's a preset that I came up with. So if I'm talking about a plugin on a vocal like Spiff and I'm showing you the plugin, even if I'm not talking about it in terms of in, in a particular mix, that's a preset that I've, I've made up myself or either one of my assistants made up. So here's the vocal and here's a piece of the song. Waterfall, look, it's just a super sucker. Why they call the law? Is it all the ash? I hold them my defying laws. My eyes are saw, don't know if you had minds at all. No, no, look, shorty say what's real. Is it my manipulation? How you bend my will? Tender deals right around in expensive wheels. Yes, you'll take it from a nigga while her friends are here. No, no, pretty kiss. Waterfall, look, it's just a super sucker. Why they call the law? Is it all the ash? I hold them my defying laws. My eyes are saw, don't know if you had minds at all. No, no, look. Now, this is what I was trying to accomplish on this vocal. I'm going to show you this while I'm in solo mode on the vocal. I felt like the vocal was was really good when I got it, but uh, you guys know me. i got to mess with it, you know? And uh, so I was trying to um, bring the, the vocal closer to my face, closer to the front of the mix. I was trying to find a, a top end that fit the track. The track has uh, is a bit on the dark side, um, more like a hip-hop song should be. So I wanted the vocal to sit in that atmosphere, but still have enough enough high end to hear the the consonants and to make the vocal have impact and and and, and convey some of the emotional items that uh, that we uh, expect from a vocal. So here's a solo of the vocal. Now um, this frequency here is looks like three two somewhere, and then uh, this frequency is in the tens, I believe. Yeah. And then, and then we, we're doing a, we're doing a roll off less than we normally would because we're doing it further up the uh, up the chain. So, uh, and and now this 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 the way this plugin works. I don't I don't want to go into describing it, but uh, check it out because it's it's really it's really doing some neat stuff. And the company is called OEK Sound and Spiff. So here's here's with. Waterfall, look, it's just a super sucker. Why they call the law? Is it all the ash? I hold them while defying laws. My eyes are saw, don't know if you had minds at all. No, no, look, shorty, say what's real. We're is bound. it my manipulation? How you bend my will? Tend the deals right around in expensive wheels. Yes, you'll take it from a nigga while her friends are here. No, no, pretty kisses. So you Waterfall. see what I'm getting? I'm getting, um, um, hopefully, I'm getting what I described, but, uh, Check this one out. Okay, I want to show you something on the stereo bus, which is uh, the most sacred um, territory in a mix. It's, it's where a lot of the good stuff and bad stuff can happen. Some of the good stuff is this MDW by George Massenburg. He's, his high end is just as good as you can get, uh, although I'm not using any high end here. I'm trying to correct some low end information, and his low end uh, on his plugins and on his hardware which this is an emulation of uh, the 8200 hardware. Um, it's pretty impressive. Check this out. ugly but you can see it's really making the clarity of the kick and the low end and and it, it actually helps enhance the top end which is kind of a weird thing all right so let's move on so this is an artist named Ilona and she's uh, an artist from the Philippines I really 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 like her work she's very young 
incredible voice, incredible actress. Um, and I was really happy to work with her. This is produced by uh, uh, Jordan and Mike from The Jam. And the song is called uh, Walking My Timbs, T-I-M-B-S, Timbaland Shoes. Check her out. She's, she's got a real high profile all over the internet. I, I'm, I'm really a big fan of hers. Um, so I'm going to show you a, a, a technique for bass. You can use it on synth basses, uh, and um, you can use it on, on uh, acoustic basses. So here's the, here's the bass track without what I'm doing. Okay, so no surprise now. You see this B15. This is one of the better emulations of, uh, I've ever heard of, a, of an existing guitar amp. Uh, I have one of these. This plug-in replaces it pretty 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 handedly um, it, if, if you don't, if you're not familiar with this with this particular piece of equipment it has a flip top so so you, you put the top inside the cabinet with a speaker in it you lift it up you turn it over and that's what you see and it's 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 uh, in, in in studio sale uh, sessions and stuff studio, uh, you know recording albums and things in the studio uh, it, it's 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 always used and this is without it with it so let's check it out here's with it Without. It, it just gives, it has a flavor that you're really listening to, to a, a really cool bass part. I'm not saying you hear it as sounding live or sounding synth. I like both sounds. But it just adds a flavor in, in, in the, the top end of the bass. Now it has a, a spot to sit in in the mix. Let's put it in the mix and see what it does. Take a walk in my Tim's, you can see where I've been Hopefully you'll understand why then I've got so much love to give Take a walk in my Tim's, you can see where I've been There's a lot going on in the mix, but you, you, you see the problem I had It's got to cut through, it's got to cut through It's a little bit loud right now because I want you to kind of hear the uh, Hear it in the mix to hear what we did, but um, Sometimes I like to pretend like the, the, the synth part is an acoustic part or an analog part. And what analog piece of gear would I use to make it better? And then that gives me a selection to start from. So rather than thinking of it as a synth part and, and, and using various uh, amounts of uh, effects and, 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 and plugins on it, think in terms of, of well, this, if this synth part were a bass part, and what would I do? And this is what I would do. So I think that gives you a little way of, 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 of finding new new ways to work. Yeah, copy this preset because I've used it. I've used this exact preset on several several mixes lately, and always have gotten a compliment on the on the bass part. Ilona, if you listen to this, miss you, sweetheart. Bye bye. I really love these plugins. I love the company. The owner is Robin Roymers, and uh, he's one of the principals. And um, I use both these a lot. I like the depth knob on this. I like everything about this. Here's a preset that I'm using for um, a parallel drum track. Check these out. You, you really like them. So here's a drum part that I wanted to have a little bit of um, old vibe, new vibe. I like this plugin here a lot. It's called True Iron by Kazrog. Uh, these guys together make uh, make some really cool stuff. Check it out. now. This is emulating several different really well-known transformers. If you're an engineer and you're not familiar what transformers can do, I recommend that you study up on it because it won't take you long. But it's a tool that we really, 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 really use a lot. And most of the time we use it when we're using a piece of analog gear because most, most analog gear, especially tube gear, has transformers to block the DC going in and out of the circuits, different circuits and different parts of the circuit. 
But this is really well done. Um, I'm going to do with and without. And take the right, copy this pre preset because this is a good preset. And also, too, when you copy this preset, try this, uh, this number right here, this D12. That's a good one, too. And every one of these is a different type of really famous, well-known transformer. I think that's pretty impressive. It sits really well in the mix. Uh, you can use it on vocals. Actually, it's it's like Frank's hot sauce. You can use it on a lot of stuff. I really want to show you this plugin. Uh, me and my staff have really had a lot of fun with it. Basically, it's three different Waves plugins that you can load in one plugin, and you can control these crossover points, um, and, and, and so you can have. One plug-in for the lows, one plug-in for the mids, and one plug-in for the highs. This was a, uh, something you might want to take a close look at. This is a, a version of the Tube Screamer, and then these have different things they need to do. So I just want to bring this to your attention because I think it's a great plug-in to start, to start using. Here's a preset that I use for 808s. Now this has got a whole different set of plug-ins in it. And each one of this, these plugins can be set differently. This is a plugin I want to put on your radar. Really, really, really good plugin. Another plugin I want to put on your radar um, is made by Eventide. This is a preset I use on bass. I highly recommend this plugin. Between this knob and this knob, you can get a lot of different distortion types. You've got some EQ. You, you've got a threshold when all this takes place. This drive knob is money. Uh, of course, the mix knob. Um, and you can you can alter the the pitch here. Uh, I, I use this in parallel on bass a lot. This is um, this is a parallel that I, that I came up with for 808s. Check it out. Good stuff. One thing I want to share with you because um, I think it's a tool that can find a, um, a great use in your arsenal. Um, this these these headphones, these earphones, earbuds, um, are pretty amazing. They have a technology called Planar speakers inside these drivers inside these little earbuds and that gives it the ability to go really low fo low frequencies real low lower than most things but more than a lot of high quality headphones and i'm, I'm finding that, that I ha i'm using these more and more and more and more and more because they're not fatiguing you got bluetooth control so you don't have to fight a wire and all kinds of stuff this company is called Aw Sounds, and um, they're really really coming out with some good stuff they got a high quality earbud you might want to check out and keep a look out for a pair of studio headphones that have uh, some new technology, planar technology inside them also. Um, all sounds, good stuff. Has this ever happened to you? Uh, it's happened to me a few times. You, you, you start a project and at the end you don't get paid or you might get paid less or half or whatever. Well, uh, I recently started working with a company called Bampay Me and I really like their model. I like the way they're doing things. now. What makes this unique is uh, you get together with uh, all the parties involved. You, you try and delineate certain milestones. So a milestone might be when the project is due, the deadline, or let's say you do the tracking part, you get a certain amount of money, then you do the mixing part, a certain amount of money, then you do the mastering part. So it gives you a way of having an agreement beforehand, having the money guaranteed in place. It's very safe. And then as you go through the process with your client, or if you're the person paying an engineer or a producer, uh, then, then you can have certain milestones where you would, you would pay them. And then, and then it guarantees that everybody's happy to begin with. It guarantees that you're going to get paid. And it guarantees that if there's a flaw or anything like that, they've got a resolution system that's, that's quite good. I really like this company a lot because, uh, to be honest with you, it's, it's not unusual that for me to be not, to not get paid. And so this is this is a way where everybody can get on the same page. It's called Band Pay Me. Keep an eye. I'm gonna help these guys uh, over the next few years. And uh, we're in we're in uh, a beta now, but we're about to come out. Please, please look for it because I think and, and I really feel this is something that could help your career. We talked about all these plugins. Now let's make money with them. All right. Thanks again, guys. Much love.